how's it going? So it's been really busy since my last video. Um, I thought I'd just be really honest about like how I'm not putting out as many videos as I'd like to, but it's because I'm getting an increase of orders. So it's definitely for good reason. Um, but I'm working on how to fit in more videos in my life. And here's what I'm gonna do. So I have um, a local friend, Catherine, who I've mentioned and you've seen in other videos. Um, she puts all the product into its packaging and she's always told me that if I ever needed help, like, you know, with a couple of days notice, if she's available, she could come to my house to help me pack orders. And I'm gonna try to be better about looking at each week ahead and seeing what I could use her help with. So it's probably gonna be order packing, wholesale orders have picked up lately. It's definitely not a problem, but the weird thing can be about wholesale orders is you could wake up and have a handful out of the blue. So then what you had in your schedule needs to shift and a lot of times it's my YouTube stuff that's been shifting but I really want to make more time for it so I am going to take Catherine up on coming here to help me more and try to get more time back that way like a whole freaking launch came and went since the last video and I filmed all this stuff for the launch but because I got so busy I couldn't edit it and then I launched it and then it sold out so I didn't even show you guys and now two of the things are sold out um I'll still show you now one sec so I released a collection of pins inspired by Harry Potter potions. So we got these guys. This is one of the ones that's sold out. It's Felix Felicius Luck Potion. And then this is also the other one that's sold out. The Love Potion. Amortentia. I had to order more of these because it's a special effect. It's a mood pin. So it changes color with heat. So these ones are still in stock. But they're already getting kind of low, which is crazy. It started changing color when I was holding it, but I just wanted to... Oh, it's turning pink. We have to keep going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The reason why it's a mood pin is because I wrote little potion explanations on the back. But Polyjuice Potion is used to look like someone else, and the potion will change color depending on the nature of the person you're becoming. So. I thought mood was perfect for that. So that one's in the shop. And then these come on cute backer cards, but we got in patch versions of the wizard houses. There aren't a ton of those left either. So everything's been reordered. What are you doing? Dang. Look at this awesome wholesale order. We better get started. Come on. So, <laughs> look at Allie. What you doing, girl? 
So about a week ago, I went to Columbus with my husband JP and we went to um, the Creative Pep Rally. It was put on by Andy J Pizza and Lisa Congdon. It was really cool. Um, but while we were in the area, we stopped at this really cool toy store, which, what was it called? Big Fun, that's what it was called. And I found this. But I'm going to be that girl and open this up because I want to display him. So hopefully it'll be fun for you to see it out of the box and it won't make you mad that I'm opening it. Here it goes. So this white figure that it comes with creeps me out a lot. So I got a different accessory to put him with. <laughs> like we don't need this operating table hospital bed. That's not good work vibes. He's so cool. They didn't have Scully, but oh, here's Mulder. We gotta find a good spot for him. Cool. 1998. I was in eighth grade. That's a while ago. Hmm, he's kind of greasy. And to go with him, I got this. They just are meant to go together. And I couldn't resist this. This was only $2. Shiny. Oh, look at all the other ones. Well, now we gotta collect all of them. Shoot. Let's open him up too. He's gotta go on the knickknack shelves. Hi. It's Malcolm. Cool. He can go here. Oh. Get it together. Oh, he stands up. Oh, that's great. Come up to the front, dude. And his little nerdy friend. That looks good. Okay. Maybe if he leans forward a little. Isn't this amazing YouTube content? Oh, he's gonna stand up. Oh. Oh. Yep. Sweet. Oh yeah, and I also got this new pin from Andy J Pizza. And I need to add this to my board. That's so cute. Where are we going to put it? I feel like I have rows going on and two rows are filled. And so we're kind of squeezing in a third row. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I love it. Ooh. Ooh, I think I just heard the mailman. Little Lolly. I've got butterflies in my stomach. So this is a new type of product. And I'm so excited about them. Please look good. Please. Oh. oh my god, these look so good. Okay, so they're metal and enamel bookmarks. Oh my. I feel like short of breath. I'm so excited. So these clip onto the page and that just kind of hangs outside the book. Let me show you. So you clip in there like that and then your page is secured. Oh, I love these. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm so happy these look good. One at a time, one at a time. Focus. I love these so much. And then this one. Oh yeah. This is everything I hoped it would be. Oh my god. This is too much. Okay, and then one more. And then I gotta check them in their packaging. Oh man, I'm so happy. That's so cute. Okay, let's try the packaging. 
So what I got is this tool that's for ID cards and it'll punch a slot. It took me forever to find one that had like a deep enough reach to go further down on the card. But the trick is how much space do I need for the bookmarks to hang? And then where should I punch the slot? So I know I had this one on here. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with these. So cute. So, I want to punch them all in the same spot to keep it consistent. So, this one's the longest one. So, whatever this one needs is what the rest are going to get. So, let's just scoot these out of here. Try to get the chain in the middle. I guess I'll just mark, like, the sides of what I need and then kind of center the hole around it. Let's, see, let's just see what happens. So, in the future, I will have a super faint hole punch circle so we can just follow that when I have the cards printed but I didn't know where the hole was gonna go so just gotta eyeball it this time. Here we go. Actually I think that's the perfect length. Look at that. Should we try it in a bag? Perfect. Oh my god. Can't wait to watch these. I sell in some bookstores, so I think these could be really cool. I'm freaking out, guys. I'm freaking out. I love how the slot punch worked out. I had purchased and returned three different punches before I found the one I wanted, so I'm glad it's all come together. I feel like this one might be my favorite, but I really like... It's so hard to decide. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Well, this looks like it's been through the ringer. What, the? what happened here? We got some restocks of these guys. Which is really good because we have some retailers waiting for those. And they're waiting for these ones. I've been trying to manage buying inventory better and it's been tricky. It's like, I'm trying not to have too much, but then some of them sell out really quickly. So I'm learning I need to have more of them in stock. I just, it's an art, you know what I mean? Oh, these look so cute. So I don't know if you remember when I did a collaboration with the Astral Box, which is a subscription box. I made a Moonstone pin for them um, based on my crystal pins and the deal was after they launched their boxes and all that passed, then I would bring them into my shop. So that's what this is. They are beautiful. Wow, I really like these. I love how the blue and the pink with glitter are so subtle. It's really pretty, like a moonstone. So I'm just waiting for a new product to come in that um, I'll release these with. I'll be sure to let you know. Restock. And I made new backer cards for the Secret Society pins that are numbered. Let me show you one. I went through and calculated roughly how many I'd sold in the past, so I tried to be accurate about what member number you are. Um, so the next person is gonna be member number 1007. So crazy. And the Secret Society of Beyonce and Hogwarts pins have that too. The other new thing I had ordered was a pin version of Sassy Squatch. That looks so good. Yay. That's awesome. It's crazy. This was one of my first two patch designs from my first collection in September 2015. And he's still with me. I love the heart on the back. 